According to a survey from the National Sheriff's Association, just over half of Americans in border states think that President Joe Biden's immigration policies have increased COVID-19 cases, drug trafficking, and deaths of immigrants. Take a look at one of those polls. Half of all Americans polled, half, said yes when asked if the border situation was uh, causing COVID-19 case numbers to rise. That number was higher in border states. And 53% of those in border states said the same. Well, 49% in non-border states said the same. And even 46% of Democrats believe the border situation is causing COVID cases to rise. 64% of Republicans say that, 44% of independents. And joining us now to discuss is Sheriff Andy Lauterbach of Jackson County, Texas. Thank you so much for joining us. So uh, the majority of people think this is a huge problem down there at the border, obviously people at the border um, more so. Uh, do you agree that it's increasing the numbers of, of COVID cases, uh, drug trafficking and other issues? Well, it's, yes, I agree. It, it's very clear. Uh, it should be coming more and more clear each day uh, with, with Americans and certainly here with Texans. But uh, our cartel expansion is is uh, unprecedented uh, on the on the, the policies that have been, are enriching them on a daily basis and hourly basis and what they're able to do. Uh, and it's it's abundantly clear to us here in law enforcement that the exploitation and the violence that women are being uh, involved with here uh, is on the rise. Uh, there, there are several things here that that I'm seeing every day and hearing about every day. Uh, illegal alien immigrant death, whether it's through drowning, uh, our car crashes, our, our bailout crashes that are happening on a daily basis here uh, in Texas and throughout the United States and the border states. Uh, and these things uh, going along with the, the issue with the untested COVID issue that has, has happened since, since January when the Biden administration took office and removed the MPP protocols then we've got super spreader status here going on in, in several places around the United States where uh, illegal immigrants are, are being housed and taken care of. So this is this is essentially responsible. I mean, the, the government is directly responsible uh, for facilitating this this these four issues really that I'm talking about here yeah. in the United States on a daily basis. Let's take a look at the next poll. Um, 58 percent said that the border situation is increasing the number of migrant deaths due to dehydration or drowning. 29 percent aren't sure. 13 say the situation is not increasing. Um, where you are, uh, you're not right next to the border. Uh, how far are you from the border and what kind of effects are you seeing that you have to deal with right in your neck of the woods? Well, geographically, I'm about three hours from the border and the issues that we see here in our area on one of the major corridors into Houston, Texas, are, are bailouts and increased criminal uh, cartel activity uh, that we're dealing with on a daily, uh, you know, weekly basis here. Uh, I sit really very close to Houston at 100 and something miles from Houston, and, uh, you know, we're having uh, uh, body armor, weapons, uh, stolen vehicles, uh, and, and a distinct cartel influence here that is on the rise uh, and this is not this is this interior texas uh, so uh, it's and it calls from all over uh, uh, the state of texas calls from the nation where there's an uptick there's a complete increase in criminal activity that's that these policies uh, are directly responsible for so these are all validated issues that that are happening that the american people need to be informed about you know, uh, Sheriff, we keep hearing about the um, number of getaways, the people that uh, get across the border um, undetected, and that just continues to increase. Um, what type of damage is that doing, and how do we know the number if they get away? Well, a getaway is defined by the, by, uh, by the men and women of the Border Patrol, a fine group of law enforcement professionals there. Uh, that, that's defined by a person that visually that they visually see, but are not able to capture. Okay. And these in these in the Rio Grande Valley sector alone are over a thousand a day. So uh, you know the the mathematics of this are staggering on what this means. And these are the smuggled uh, folks, the people who are not coming into the port of entries. These are folks who are not claiming asylum status. They are clearly coming and avoiding law enforcement, uh, and evading law enforcement at every avenue. And trying to get into the country um, to do what they're going to do, and that's 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 part and parcel of what we're 
we're, we're up against on that secondary number of folks who come in and claim uh, the issues that they do. We're, we're, of course, that's a, at the largest number it's been in uh, ever. And so then we, when you add the getaways on there, then you, you, uh, you have to add that math in there with it. Uh, it's also. overwhelming. All right. Well, Sheriff Louderback, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. Thank you very much. Thank right. you. Good luck. Sure. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.